producing for the first six months. A lot of severe, unusual, and unprecedented weather patterns in some areas. In our own country, it's been the issue mainly of floods, not exclusively, but a lot of floods in the prairies in Quebec. It started a couple of months ago and continued to this day. That is unusual. Flooding isn't unusual in the spring here, but the length and depth to which these floods have uh, captured uh, the attention of Canadians and displaced Canadians uh, is greater than normal. In the states uh, where you spend a lot of time, we've seen the unprecedented weather patterns tornadoes happening in areas that don't usually happen, in some cases haven't happened in more than 100 years. So when you look at that, um, what, what is your sense? Do, does this directly relate to the bigger story that we're discussing? Well, the bigger story is very clear. Of course, scientifically, you really can't link any single event to climate change or human-induced climate change. But if you look at the pattern, it's unmistakable. And we have very clearly projected in the fourth assessment report of the IPCC that floods, droughts, heat waves, extreme precipitation events are on the increase around the world. And there's an increase in their frequency and their intensity. So if you take all of these together, it clearly fits in with something that science is very clearly projecting. And I think we need to be concerned about it because the implications are very severe. As you rightly said, people are going to be Based. And in some of the poorest regions of the world, where in any case people are living under multiple stresses, can you imagine what the impacts of climate change would do? It could lead to conflict, it could lead to massive movements of literally millions of people. And that is not going to be of any benefit to any part of the world. You know, earlier this week, the Norwegian Refugee Council came out with its study uh, on displaced people and looked at last year, 2010, as one of the, the worst on record, if not the worst, with 42 million people around the world being displaced. Uh, it concluded by climate-related issues. Um, in terms of numbers, that's lately has been doubled what it was 20 years ago. Now, that's not looking at individual issues, that's looking at the big picture. So on that front, you would relate it directly to the bigger issue. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I spoke at a major event that the Norwegians had organized a few days ago on this very subject. And uh, I think there's a strong basis for concern. And I think one particular industry which is also quite focused on this issue is the insurance 